we're talking about beauty in creation, earth, and sky. Birds and mammals engage in all sorts of play. Cats bat at string, and, and they bat at uh, the rays of our, uh, our flashlights, etc. Uh, birds appear to soar for the sheer joy of soaring. Socorro mockingbirds sing in counterpart. One will sing, another will sing. They participate in a concert. Starlings can mimic frogs, goats, and whistling shepherds. Robert Summers, who lives here at Glen Rose, uh, who is the artist who sculpted the uh, Tom Landry upstairs and the John Wayne and the Byron Nelson, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, for 13 years, Bob had a little starling. Uh, they got it when it was just a few weeks old and had a broken leg. And so it grew up in Bob's studio, and he taught it to whistle Amazing Grace. And it would do it very effectively, very beautifully. These starlings have marvelous abilities. Um, starlings have, can mimic frogs, sound just like frogs, goats, whistling shepherds. Mozart's pet starling imitated a piano concerto in G major, but changed the sharps to flats at its own discretion. An octopus will often play with a bottle for nearly half an hour. Animals use medicine. Now this earth on which we live is astoundingly complicated and interrelated. And the scripture says that all things were created by Jesus Christ. To me, that's quite astounding. So after researching this lecture and seeing that in every area there are different varieties, different characteristics to maintain that life, I, I realize to a greater degree the kind of care that he instilled in them. African apes, during rainy seasons, parasitic larvae commonly infect the digestive tracts of chimps, bonobos, and gorillas. What do they do? They collect leaves from plants such as asphilia in the sunflower family, carefully fold them up, and swallow without chewing them. Well, how did they know to do that? It had to be instilled, had to be designed, created in them. Monarch butterflies. Now, evolution has major problems with this. We have a, um, a beautiful tape series back there called Metamorphosis. You need that if you're serious about looking into evidence for creation. How can the cocoon be spun? There are various stages. All the information goes through processes that actually liquefy, reform, and ultimately produce a butterfly. There is no way that one stage could slightly change to a more complicated phase of that stage. All the information has to be in the original larvae. And we'll talk about that to a little small degree here. When a mother has been infected, monarch butterflies, when a mother has been infected by a tiny parasite that pokes holes in her skin, she carefully searches until she finds the tropical milkweed instead of the common swamp milkweed that is her normal diet. The extra dose of plant steroids in the tropical milkweed protect the offspring through the next generation. You've heard that mothers have such compassion they will sacrifice themselves for us, and this is an illustration of that. Fruit flies. Now, I wish they didn't have this ability, but they have. And no, they're, they're very important. Parasitic wasps often lay their eggs in fruit flies, in fruit flies. To deal with the infection, the fruit flies eat foods rich in alcohol. No harm to the fruit flies, but the wasp eggs are often prevented from developing. All right. Nice. A dusky-footed wood rats. Fleas are a common nuisance for these furry creatures. They shred bay plant leaves around their sleeping chambers to inhibit the growth of the flea larvae. How do they know to do that? Starling birds weave into their nest a few leaves from wild carrots to repel mites. How do they know to do that? The creator instilled that in them. Uh, Capuchin uh, 
Monkeys in Venezuela search in termite mounds or tree bark for a certain millipede. They search until they find just that one. Orthoporus dorsifilitalis. Smash uh, the specimen into their fur from head to feet. The powerful chemicals repel pesky mosquitoes. We might try that. Common grackles bow to the ground to let ants crawl on them. Birds bow to let ants crawl on them. The ants secrete formic acid that helps keep pests away. Some wrestle marigold, uh, marigold blossoms from the same, for the same purpose. Leaf-eating giraffes scoop up a mouthful of dirt from termite mounds. These compounds neutralize plant and bacterial toxins in the giraffe's diet. Pregnant Sphaca lemurs sometime eat the bark of fig and tamarind trees. Compounds in the bark help encourage milk production and rid of gut parasites. Pregnant elephants have been known to tramp several miles to eat a special tree that induces labor. Wow, how did they know all of that? 